Fossils, written by Dr. Andrew Ross. What are fossils? Fossils are the remains of animals and plants that lived millions of years ago. You may find the fossilised shell or bones of an animal that's been preserved, or the shape of an animal or plant that rotted away. You can also see marks, like footprints, left by animals. These are called trace fossils. Sometimes you may find insects trapped in amber, a liquid from trees that has gone hard over time. People who study fossils are called paleontologists. When they discover a fossil, they try to find out all about it. They write down where it was found and what rock it was in. Once they know what kind of fossil it is, it's stored in a museum. How are fossils made? An animal, such as a dinosaur, dies. Its soft insides get eaten by other animals. Its bones are quickly covered with thick layers of mud. Over a long time, the mud gets squashed and it hardens into rock. The bones are preserved in the rock. Millions of years later, someone finds the fossil dinosaur bones in the rock. Where can you find fossils? Fossils are found all over the world. If you'd like to go fossil hunting, the seaside is a good place to look. Waves crash against the cliffs and wash bits of rock away, showing the fossils hidden inside. How old are fossils? Paleontologists can tell how old fossils are by looking at the rock where they found them. Some fossils are more than 500 million years old. The timeline shows when some different fossil animals and plants lived. Ammonites. If you're at the seaside, a common fossil you may find is a sea creature called an ammonite. Look carefully for spiral shapes in the rock. The ammonite looks like a curly ram's horn. If you're lucky enough to find one, you'll be holding a fossil that is more than 65 million years old. Ammonites are now extinct. Ammonites swam backwards and had tentacles to catch food. Did you know? One of the largest ammonites found was two metres wide, five times bigger than the wheel of a car. A sharp beak and tentacles would have been here. Corals You can also find fossilised coral at the seaside. Corals look like plants, but they're actually lots of little animals that live together. They grow in warm, shallow seas and form big reefs. Some coral fossils are more than 400 million years old. When you're hunting for coral fossils, look out for different shapes. Coral fossils have been found all over the world. Today, the largest living coral reef is in Australia. It's so big, you can see it from space. You can see the branching and dome shapes, just like the fossils. Clams and oysters. Fossilised clams and oysters look just like the live ones you can find at the beach today. You may find them with their two shells joined together, or just one shell if it has fallen apart. You can see both halves of this clam shell fossil. 
curved ribs on this oyster fossil make the shell stronger. Most clams and oysters live in the sea. If you find a large number of fossilized sea creatures inland, the place where you're standing would have been under the sea millions of years ago. This rock used to be sand and shells at the bottom of the sea. You can see fossilized oysters in the rock. Sea scorpions and crabs. Sea scorpions have legs with joints, like the legs of a spider or a crab. Millions of years ago, sea scorpions were much bigger than scorpions you can see on land today. The largest sea scorpion was 2.5 meters long. So when you go fossil hunting, what you find may only be a little bit of something much larger. Some sea scorpions had long, sharp pincers to grab fish. This is what sea scorpions would have looked like when they were alive. Some creatures, like horseshoe crabs, look the same today as they did millions of years ago. These animals are called living fossils. Trilobites. Some sea creatures live together in large numbers. If you find a fossil of a trilobite, look hard. There may be more. Trilobites are now extinct. These are trilobite fossils. There were lots of different kinds of trilobites, so look out for the different shapes. Some had smooth heads, while others were knobbly. Some had rounded tails, and others had triangular tails. Did you know? Some trilobites could roll into a ball to protect themselves from being eaten. Sea urchins and starfish. Look out for sea urchins and starfish in rock pools at the seaside. Sea urchins have a round shell covered in spines that protect them from being eaten. But if you find a fossilized sea urchin, you'll usually only be able to see its body because the spines fall off after it dies. Sometimes you find the fossil spines nearby. Some sea urchin fossils are heart shaped, others are round. Starfish fossils are hard to find because they're fragile and break easily. You'll know if you found one by its shape. It usually has five arms and looks like a star, just like the ones alive today. Some starfish have longer arms than others. These arms help the starfish to crawl around on the seabed or climb rocks to find food. Plants. Not all fossils were animals. There are many different kinds of plant fossils which have been preserved in mud. You may see fossilized leaves, branches, or fir cones. This fossilized leaf looks the same as leaves you can see on ferns today. Even fossilized pollen has been found, but you need a powerful microscope to see it. The first plants on land appeared more than 400 million years ago, but these were small, like moss. Over time, this changed, and 300 million years ago, some ferns grew as big as trees. You can also find the shape of bark and branches where plants have rotted away and left only marks in the rock. Trace fossils. Trace fossils are marks that were left by animals when they moved about. They're not the animals themselves, so they're not shells or bones. Different kinds of animals made different tracks or trails as they walked or burrowed through the mud, looking for food. The 
The clearest trace fossil you may find is an animal footprint. Some of the biggest trace fossils are huge footprints made by dinosaurs. But it's hard to tell exactly which animal made it from just the footprint. When dinosaur footprints were first discovered, people thought they had been made by giant birds. Dinosaurs Complete dinosaur fossils have been found in North America, South America, China, Mongolia and Africa. Millions of years ago, all these places had lakes, rivers and swamps, ideal for preserving large animals that may have got stuck and drowned. Dinosaurs were the biggest land animals that ever lived. Fossils of dinosaur bones, teeth, footprints and droppings can tell us lots about what they were like. Fossilised teeth can tell us if a dinosaur ate meat or plants. Even dinosaur droppings can tell us if they ate meat or plants. This dinosaur ate other animals, so its teeth needed to be sharp and pointed to rip through meat. Often, only a single bone of a dinosaur is found, and it's hard to tell exactly what animal it is until you've dug up the whole dinosaur. This is a complete dinosaur fossil. It had a long neck and tail and walked on two legs. <laughs>